Hey guys, it's Kathy with another video. I haven't made one in a while. But today, I wanted to do something to cover these blank journals. I bought them in bulk on Amazon. And these have no writing inside. But I also bought these that are a little smaller. And they do have writing on the inside. So I wanted a way to just decorate them without, you know, doing a whole lot of work. So I went to AI and I use open art, but you can use Bing. And I said, give me a background for a journal cover. And this is what it, this was the first one that came up and I loved it. So what I did was I put it through my Xyron machine and made it a sticker. And then it comes out like this. And then I just peel it off and put it on the book. So I got to put this one on, on the back. I also did a smaller size for the smaller ones, like this that I showed you. And I buy these in bulk too from Amazon. Not very expensive at all. And I just wanted a cute way to decorate them. So this one is done back and front. And it does have the lines in it. And be aware, because the first one I did, I didn't realize, here it is, that it had a date and stuff. <laughs> so as you can see, I put it upside down. And once it's on, it's on. You can't take it off. So I'll keep that one for myself as a prototype. And I'm going to make about six or seven covers, maybe ten. And so um, that way, whichever cover someone orders, I can just make them up. I want to do a Barbie one in all pink and then i bought these little po pockets also from amazon let me see if they're right here yeah here they are right here and these are the business card size but i also have another size and what i'm going to do is this is two um they're sticky on one side so you can put them inside the book and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make some stickers oh here are the other ones I'm going, these are a little bigger. They're a little wider. So they wouldn't probably fit in the little one, but they will definitely fit in the big one. I will make my own stickers and, um, and I'll put them in the pocket. So whoever buy them, they can decorate it even more. So this has been a fun thing for me to do. Um, I love making journals, but I also like buying them already made in bulk and then just decorating them. And this is just one way to de decorate. And I think in my prompt, I just said, make a background for a journal cover, which I think I've mentioned already. And hey, this was the first one that came up and I loved it. So the hard part is though, getting it just right so that it fits on the cover. And what I did was I went back to Amazon to my orders and I looked at the exact size of the journals. And then I just plugged that into pages on my Mac Air. And it gave me the exact size for that one. This one was a little off, but it was I just cut around the edges. Now, as you can see, I'm a little off there. Because once it sticks, it's, it's got to go down. So um, I'll probably put something on the edges to camouflage that. So I'll try to be more careful on this side. But anyway... Um, this has been Kathy from Kathy's Jewelry and Crafts. I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and watch the video till the end. It really helps my channel. See you on my next video. Bye.